Hello and welcome to Digit. In this video, we are going to be unboxing a motherboard. This is the Zebronix Zeb H61. Now, this motherboard is for the LGA 1155 socket, which is something used by Intel processors of uh, the second and third generation of core processors. So this would be Sandy Bridge and Ivy Bridge or the Core i2000 series as well as Core i3000 series of processors. Uh, there are a couple of features on the bottom right of the packaging, namely that the chipset used is H61. It supports DDR3 memory modules with uh, speeds of 1066, 1333, or 1600 MHz, or more accurately, MTS, that's mega transactions per second. Again, the socket is LGA 1155. It's got a 5.1 audio codec on it. Then the LAN port happens to support a maximum throughput of 100 Mbps. It's got four SATA 2 ports for storage and obviously a PCIe expansion port. Now from the front, it seems like, and also from the packaging, that this happens to be a micro ATX board. On the bottom, you have the name of the product. Same goes for the top. On one side, you have some additional uh, information. This is the import date as well as the manufacturer or rather the importer's contact information. On this side, you have the name of the motherboard along with a QR code. And on the back, you have the same features that were seen on the front along with additional specifications stated. So this thing supports uh, Intel Pentium processors as well as Celeron processors and core processors. Let's go ahead with the unboxing. So the motherboard comes inside an anti-static bag with some amount of padding on the bottom. Be careful when you're touching motherboards. Always ensure that you've grounded yourself first. We have done that. A little note from Zebronix listing a couple of do's and don'ts. Then you have a SATA cable. Now this thing comes with an L connector on one end and a flat connector on the other. Then there's the driver disc. This will have all the drivers for all the interconnect and components on your motherboard. Then there's the user manual, which also has all the specifications again, as well as pinouts for the interfaces. That is the front panel header, as well as the USB headers. Always read through the user manual. Then you have the IO backplate. This is what goes at the back of your chassis and then mates with the back of your motherboard. That is this side. And here's the motherboard. This is the LGA 1155 socket. It opens up and you can remove the little plate. Always check that the pins are proper before installing a processor. And the form factor, as you can see, is micro ATX. You have the two RAM slots, DDR3 RAM slots on this end. There are clips on both ends. And there's the 24 pin motherboard power connector four SATA 2 ports. These are for storage, your front panel header, this one CMOS header, a couple of fan headers would be one over here and one over here. This is the four pin uh, CPU power. Then you have uh, one USB 3 header. This is the PCIe 1X slot, the small one. And right underneath at the bottom edge, you have the full length PCIe 16 lane slot. There's a little jumper for the battery over here. Then you can take a look at the rear I.O. Here we see the audio setup on this side. Then there's the Ethernet port, four USB ports, two USB ports on this end, an HDMI port and a VGA port. So that's it for the unboxing of the Zebronix Zeb H61 motherboard for the LGA 1155 socket. Thank you for watching.